Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Oge and I'm reaching from Abuja, Nigeria. Um, I make videos on healthy living, budgeting, and great recipes. So if you want to eat healthy on the budget, if you have a budget, if you have challenges or you have questions on how to manage your finances for your family, for yourself, as a lady, as a guy, as a mother, I'm here to help you out. So you can drop your comments and don't forget to subscribe if you've not already subscribed because it's going to help you a lot. We're going to be going on an exciting journey on this channel. And if you're already a subscriber, I want to say thank you so much for being there for me. I really, I really appreciate it. So as you already know, for those of us who already know me, I share videos on healthy living. And one of the ways that you can lead a healthy lifestyle or maintain a healthy lifestyle is to stock up with healthy food every time. If you stock up your fridge with healthy food, there's, um, there's little or no chance for you to do junks. Even though I admit that it can be inconvenient at times, I'm a full-time, I have a full-time job, so I know it's not easy. So I... I can relate if you're in similar situations but because i have a full-time job there are so many things i put in place like batch cooking and all of that that i help to make my life easier and then make my health um not complain i mean for my for me to live healthy and having my fruits um fruits and vegetables all the time makes a lot of difference so i just went out i didn't go to the market i just went to a nearby um, um open market mini market where they sell fruits and vegetables i just went to stock up for the week i shared a video on um monthly may groceries and shopping where i buy all my food stuff including provisions and all the groceries i need for the month yes and yeah that's a generic one but monthly i mean every week i share videos on how i buy my groceries too which is mostly fruits and vegetables because they don't last one i buy from the beginning of the month don't last all through the end of the month. I can cope with other things um, for the rest of the month. So I'm going to be showing you briefly um, in a short while all that I have. I'm going to be showing you in a short while all that I have for this week. And a total, I spent about a total of about um, 12,000 Naira or thereabouts. Yes, um, because we have the fruits and vegetables, you want to substitute your carbohydrates for it i would recommend more protein and protein doesn't necessarily mean it has to be meat because too much meat is not good for your body too guys if you don't know that now you know so uh, alternatives like um beans beans has from protein it also has carbohydrates so eating beans alone in, in itself is balanced diet i'll be talking more about that meanwhile i made a video on balanced diet if you want to check that out so you have lentils you have um milk milk is not really healthy for adults yes uh, but you can do skimmed milk as an alternative you can do eggs you can do um um fish you know yes those are alternatives of meats that you can have and incorporate protein into your diet you can also do potatoes potatoes contain proteins and some other vegetables and fruits that have proteins in them and that's why i have this channel i'm going to be sharing more of this um, contents like this so let me quickly take you if i deviate from what we're here to talk about let me quickly take you to show you, show you all that i have for the week so i'm going to be starting with this plantain as you guys may already know plantain is very expensive now um a bond a bunch could be up to seven thousand five thousand but these are really small plantains see see how they look they're really small but i got this bunch for two thousand naira. I mean, um, right now we're not going to be doing big deals with plantain. We're just going to be making it as a supplement, maybe um, for beans or, you know, side dish or something of that nature. Not like a main meal for now until the price comes down. That's why we are doing it on a budget, right? So that's it. Um, this is the plantain we're able to get for 2000 naira for all of this. I think it's really fair compared to the prices of other ones, 7000 and all the rest of them. Yes. And here we have sweet corn very this all of this okay this one cost me two thousand and all this corn here guys cost me two thousand they sell you know um they were with the the what's they call that thing the cover or whatever it was covered but i told them i wanted they were selling three for five hundred three pieces for five hundred and two of the sets for um no three pieces for three hundred and the set for five hundred, um, two sets for five hundred. But I told them to give me one thousand naira worth. But by the time she started to open it, she realized that some of them are open and all of that. So she eventually gave me, in fact, more than fifteen or so for one thousand. And I decided to just round it up to two thousand because I know 
and this one as they look they are very sweet you know but they are not full so what we really want to do is to cook we're going to cook all of this corn and we're going to eat some of them and the rest we're going to use for our beans porridge i mean beans and corn if you've not had beans and corn i mean beans and corn porridge you're missing a lot yes guys that's why you should follow me on this channel so we can do it so if i don't have the time to cook the beans and corn today what i'll do is after i'm done we, when we have had what we need we'll just remove them from the cup and then freeze till when we're ready to use yes that's that's how i do it here okay or how we do it here this is orange half basket okay all of this now goes for two thousand that's pretty many considering that one corn like this maybe not as um, scanty as this one maybe i don't know something like this one corn could be like this 150 or something like that or 200 depending but you know corn is really expensive now but i mean whatever right now everything is 2000 and i think it's a good deal this orange is, is half basket half of a full basket now they'll tell you the one full basket full basket one two the one they usually design and pretend like it's full basket 1000 so i told them i, took, I want the full basket and half is 600 because i still have some oranges left in the fridge and then this one, this banana, goes for 1,000 Naira. Yes, 1,000 Naira. These mangoes, I have this type. You know this type that they use knife to cut? It doesn't have those, um, uh, what they call it, that goes into the teeth. These ones were for 100 Naira each. I got 500 Naira worth. Uh, this is still part of them. Um, and I got these other ones. I mix them both green and yellow because it's going to be in the fridge these ones are eventually going to ripen in the fridge i got all of these for one thousand no two thousand i got these ones for 15 for one thousand that was what I, I you know it's not in the market i would have gotten a better deal in the market but this is two thousand and all these carrots for one thousand there i got these avocados three of them one thousand there and these ones I just realized upon getting home that these pineapples look like they are beginning to have to eat this today unfeelingly. These two cost um, one six. This coconut five hundred naira. This um, sweet potatoes one two for half baskets because my people don't really like sweet potatoes. Cabbage each of this is three fifty, so two of them seven hundred naira. Cucumber two five hundred because I still have some left banana another one too i bought this banana with this plantain and i thought it was a good deal and the corn i bought it from a woman who had just harvested them from her farm i guess that's why the price is like this so guys this is the way i do weekly to make um our healthy journey easier because if you don't stock up um you find it difficult to maintain so guys let me know if you learn one or two things from this video and share with me guys so guys, I hope you've been able to learn a thing or two from this video that I have shared. Remember that being healthy or maintaining a healthy lifestyle starts with you being intentional about it. So it's not something you dream about. It's not something you wish for. It's not something you assume or hope for. It's okay to hope for it, but you have to put practical steps in. Um, in you have to put practical steps to make it happen. So guys, I'll be seeing you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. I really appreciate it. Share with your, video, your friends and loved ones. You never can tell who might need it. Meanwhile, if you have questions, please feel free to ask me down the comment down below. I'll be glad to answer your questions. I'll be seeing you guys in another video on Tuesday. On today, stay safe. Bye.